Also tonight, a stepped up push for a safer street in a Portsmouth neighborhood. And this comes after a mail carrier was hit and killed by a car. It happened a little more than a week ago on Airline Boulevard near Caroline Avenue, and the driver is still on the loose. But people who live there say the street is a haven for speeders. They want the city to do something about it. Ten of your size, Gina Revelo, asked some questions about whether that's in the plan. Tom and Anita, an online petition is demanding the city install a traffic light at the busy intersection. I spoke with City Councilman Shannon Glover, who says the ball is already rolling to address the issue. After years of concerns, neighbors living near Airline Boulevard and Caroline Avenue say enough is enough. The traffic light will at least help people to stop, pay attention, um, obey the laws of the road. Close to 200 people have signed the growing petition for a traffic light at the intersection. Portsmouth police say there have been 21 crashes with injuries or property damage here since 2016. The couple at this home didn't want to speak on camera, but they say they've had four cars end up in their yard. They added a new bedroom onto the back of the house to avoid being injured if a car does hit their home one day. A lot of people get hurt here on this road, and you know if you watch the road, they don't ever obey the speed limit here. And as a city, we, we have a responsibility to look into those concerns. City Councilman Shannon Glover says the city engineer is aware and is taking a closer look at the intersection. He says it's possible traffic patterns have changed over the years, so another traffic study could be done to learn more. Those things tell you what the number of vehicles may be that are going through that intersection on a daily basis. Glover says any tragedy is concerning. He wants the community to know city leaders are listening. But we're going to look at everything as it relates to safety and ensure that all of the things that are needed to make that a safe in intersection are going to be put in place. Glover tells me he plans to gather more information and the issue could potentially be an agenda item at a future city council meeting. We'll be sure to keep you posted. Reporting in Portsmouth, Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.